So about a week ago, I posted a video of me trying to get this uh, Power Mac G5 computer running. And I encountered a bit of a problem. And uh, that problem was it would boot up sometimes, but not all the times. Uh, that meaning, sometimes it'll go straight through, boot up no problem. And other times, it would just go straight to a, a flashing gray screen. Or a gray screen with a flashing folder that had a question mark. Now that flashing gray screen or gray question mark screen indicated that there was a problem with the hard drive or something along the lines that connected the hard drive to the actual computer. Now I'm just going to show you something real quick. Uh, basically I'm going to prove to you that the problem is fixed and that it boots up every time and then I'm going to show you how I did it. So power button. Keyboard has power, there it is. Um, there's the Apple logo, which if you saw in my last video, I don't know, like it, it, it was really sporadic and you were never sure what you got, but now it starts and boots up reliably, loads the OS, and I can go to the login screen, type my password in, and go right in. See, there it is. Password, name, everything like that. And the fix for this was incredibly simple. Like, you would have never guessed how simple it would have been to fix this problem. And what I did was, I moved the hard drive into slot B. Let me show you real quick. Right there. Uh, you can see there's a primary slot and a secondary slot for the hard drive. I had the, the hard drive in slot A. As soon as I moved it down to slot B, Everything worked fine, problem solved, whoop de doo da. Everything was perfect. I'm not too sure what caused it, but I do know the iMac I had had the same problem, but it only had one hard drive slot, so I wasn't able to get that going. I think it might be the cables itself. I'm not too sure, but you can actually hear the hard drive spinning and all that. Everything's working properly. And that's it. Hopefully this helped you out in trying to figure out why your Mac won't boot up properly. I would definitely recommend swapping the, the hard drive placement before you do anything else. Oh, and this is running uh, OS 10.5.8 uh, 10 now. I loaded 10.5.6, connected to the internet, and updated it.